there guys welcome to Wayne's Cave I just thought I'd uh, have a little bit of a short introductory clip just explaining this uh, this video um, I've just recently connected up the astrophotography setup with some software so uh, I feel like I've been a, a real um, Lamo through galaxy season just uh, a not too many good clear nights um, really the past month or so uh, and just trying to make the most of those little windows of opportunity but at the same time I've been trying to get my head around new software I'm, I'm now running uh, my rig through currently um, I'm using software called K Stars and Ecos. I'm trying to keep everything as as mobile as I can. That whole idea is to then, once I get the rig working, functioning, just how I want, I can then just still take my rig out in the field because there's places I do want to venture out that's not a million miles away from me. I would be able to drive out and go for weekends in the sun you know when especially when it's nice in the summer uh, with a tablet and my my little Raspberry Pi computer box which is velcroed to my actual rig on the mount and still do that nice spiritual element of being under the stars feeling the environment of of your surroundings whilst getting my head around that this this is just a, a leaked out apology because uh, I'll, uh, during the video you'll see I've got clips where I'm sort of dipping in and out of the last couple of sessions I've been testing and trialing uh, my whole new setup on and I've, I've sort of dipped in tried to explain a couple of bits I managed to muster up uh, one target so far so keep up the hard work guys and uh, thanks for all your support and all the comments and um, a couple of people that have been I've been on email with and various bits and pieces that this is a shout out to you guys love peace and prosperity and above all else dark clear skies thanks guys I'll see you soon guys it's April 13th uh, and there's a few white fluffy clouds up in the sky so um, you know what that means it's hopefully again, according to the forecast going to be clear tonight so me and Todd are just out on a walk burning some energy and planning tonight's shoot and we've decided we're going to top up some more data on the Leo triplet galaxies uh, because I've only sort of got out for a couple of hours here and there with, with sort of clear patches that have appeared and gone. Uh, the moon is currently growing in uh, brightness as we speak, but it, it's I think it's about 37% something tonight and is setting on the setting side of the sky which will be good for my two targets like I said at the start of the night I'll think I will uh, stick with just getting another 20 minutes or half an hour or so on Leo triplet and then later on in the night the constellation Cygnus starts uh, uh, coming over some trees to my right hand side so uh, I had a quick practice uh, shoot the end of a session last time and it's just appearing now so I'm gonna start a project on um, the Crescent Nebula in Cygnus um, all I'll be using is L Pro filter that little bit of light pollution filtration going on there but other than that it's my my converted DSLR camera Skywatcher 120 APO 
Uh, so keep tuned and you shall see the session in action. Catch up with you soon guys. So it's just turning dark guys. I've just got my scope all set up. Here you can see the back end Raspberry Pi. I've got the T3i SLDR and for the first time I've used a, a dedicated guide camera here. This is the GP Cam Altair GP Cam 2 colour. I think it's 224, MX224. So I'm uh, other than guiding, I might try a bit of uh, just uh, live feed video play um, and see what interesting stuff we can get with that down the line. That would be quite interesting. Uh, but all, all of that plugged into the Raspberry Pi, riding the old Skywatcher um, and my, my guide scope there, which should let in plenty of light and data for the guide camera. Let's not forget to take them off. These are just sort of acclimatising to the temperature outside for a little while. And uh, so hopefully it'll be stay nice and clear and still like it is. And uh, the wiring looms actually from the cameras feed down from the cameras down into I've got power packs at the bottom the black one on the left that will drive the mount on the Raspberry Pi and the white one on the right hand side there is another 12 volt uh, power extension with a USB um, which will be one USB is for one dew heater and then the other dew heater is actually the, the male socket version, uh, and they, that's both that's powered by this power pack. And then I've got a separate power pack, which is basically a, um, a converted battery that will run the computer and mount. Uh, hey there, folks! Welcome to Wayne's Cave. Uh, tonight, I'm going to try and do my first ever astrophotography session running through some dedicated astrophotography software. So this is the first time I've integrated a computer of any sort on my device. I'm going to use a Raspberry Pi Stellamate computer um, module to connect my telescope cameras and mount to my Wi-Fi network at home uh, so I can just uh, start a shooting schedule set it up and then let it run um, it's the first time I've tried uh, uh, it, like I said using some dedicated software like this with any Astro setup um, I did try to do a bit of a dry run just last night uh, and although getting everything configured when I first got the software set up it ran okay I went to I took all my equipment out last night to the front garden uh, and the technology decided it was gonna keep me up for 12 rounds of um, tough grueling boxing problem after problem uh, until eventually I didn't achieve anything, didn't achieve any connection or any program running and had to give up the ghost at early hours this morning and, and pay the price with uh, very tired eyes and a bit of a headache today. Uh, but I tried to shake it off, had a look at a few problems and we're going to try and get the smoothest running program up and running tonight. So check back with me. I'm just waiting to polar align now as the star's just about showing. And once that telescope's up and everything's connected, I'll check back with you.
See you in a bit. Hey guys. We're back at Wayne's Cave. We're up and running. It's the first time I've got K Stars connected via Wi Fi to my Raspberry Pi, which is the Stellar Mate for my DSLR camera, auto guide camera, and the mount. As you can see, the software is running behind me. Just thought I'd show you quickly. First time I've sort of set up the uh, the guiding on some computer uh, software. Um, no real major issues. It calibrated itself okay. Um, I've just been taking 210 second exposures on my target tonight at ISO 800. All I'm using is the L Pro Optimum L Pro filter, clipping filter in my DSLR. Um, this is actually night three. Now it's Friday night, and for me, third time lucky. The first night, I couldn't get my Raspberry Pi connected up and synced up with my computer. That absorbed the night till one o'clock in the morning, and I had, just had to give up went to work and then on, on Thursday night I got, I got it all sussed out on Thursday uh, late afternoon set, set the whole rig up again Thursday night outside only to find that when I switched my mount on I had an error reading come up on my handset so the mount software that's been so uh, reliable for me this is the first time in in a year anything's happened and I thought I'd messed it messed it up royally so I brought the whole rig inside connected up my handset to my mount to my desktop here did a quick bit of research on to trying to fix this error code after downloading Java and downloading a, a bit of software from Celestron's site I did quite well I think in getting over the problem within about an hour and it was about half nine at night <laughs> and then I had to take the whole rig back outside <laughs> out my living room through the hallway set it up re level my mount polar align star align I managed to get all that bit done in about 30 minutes flat. The only thing was, <laughs> everything ran fine, but my intended target, for some reason, I think my software didn't marry up my my location that my computer was saying, for some reason, didn't marry up with my uh, mount out there. Or I set up the mount location wrong after updating the firmware but now we've got all of our software linked up wi-fi is sending and receiving and everything's talking to me so i'm a happy excited astrophotographer tonight and i think i'm on well i'm, I'm about halfway through my second batch of 10 frames, 210 seconds, like I say. Uh, and as you can see, this window here, this is just, this is like a fits viewer. So it, it, it's sort of like a, you know, there's limited data on a fits viewer uh, thing, but there, as you can probably guess, you can see three faint, objects in that frame and it's the Leo triplet uh, guiding seems to be good and early on I did get a few streaky stars in the, in the in you know two out of the first five were streaky and I was hoping that that percentage rate wasn't going to carry on but guiding is, is 
kind of improved as, as the frames have gone on, uh, apart from planes flying through the frame, which is quite a lot tonight, more than usual. Um, but here, if I just show you, I have that. It's very difficult driving this phone. That's the fits for your window, look. And uh, I'll put the tripod back down a minute. And then if I can, so I'll close this down. We're currently between frames. So this is my guiding, this is, this is ECOS. Ecos in case stars. These past few nights, the first time I've uh, tried to integrate astrophotography with it, like I say. Um, and as you can see, this is the guiding guiding window, um, and I'm getting my total RMS on my guiding has been as low tonight as um, 0.7 average but it that's getting jumped up because I'm every now and then I'm getting a reading saying exposure timeout restarting exposure and I've noticed that the, the guiding pauses for like a good 10 seconds and then it seems to kick back in again and in my little diagram down here, this little circle, the star is almost, you know, at the extreme tolerance level and then guiding brings it back. So that's jumping up my average correction reading. So I need to do a little bit more research in that, but overall, the frames now, uh, Are looking nice um, so I'm just gonna stick with it see how many frames I can get done and then also try and remember to to do a meridian flip when the time's due so I'm gonna just check on things now and I'll, I'll show you what I get later on the video okay guys see you soon Come on, oi, come here, it will blow me nuts if you run into that.